What do you make of the performance? Well, we are very excited with um, our performance. The, the first election, one year after the forming of the party, we came up number three in the election. So, what are voters saying when they vote for you? Um, I think, I think people want to see change. It is very obvious that, um, particularly the younger generation, they they said enough is enough. I think that is what um, our voters saying. We've seen a delay in the preliminary results. Mm -hmm. This has never happened before. It was from 10 p.m. last night to 10 a.m. this morning to 2 p.m. later today. That's right. Will that hinder or impact the legitimacy of whoever comes to power? People now start questioning the credibility of this election. Um, there's many irregularities happening last night. For example, in the case of Sukhothai, water turnout ratio is 180%, you know. In the case of Bangkok voting district number nine, the the number that's the um, the case of the ballot stuffing, where the number of vote votes um, counted is more than the number of votes casted. In the case of Trung, a district in the south, um, there were there was a blackout during the vote counting. So all these irregularities um, being questioned by the people. Um, but the people, basically the credibility of the election commission, uh, how free and fair is it? So, so all things considered, you're saying it wasn't a free and fair election? No, by far, by far. There's too many irregularities compared to the past elections. A lot of surprises at this election, not just the kind of votes that came to your party, but also pretty much the demise of the Democrat Party forcing its leader to resign, mm -hmm. and also uh, the Poi Thai Party, which didn't perform uh, as well as expected. Mm -hmm. What's your reading of that? My observation is this. I think um, this constitution, the two thousand constitution of 2017, um, breaks the two-party politics of the past. You see the re this result, you see it clear. It is a multi-party politics in Bangkok. And having said that, it's, it means the decline of the two big parties, uh, the traditionally Pure Thai and the Democrat, these two parties combined, they would gain about more than 60 or more than 80 percent of the votes. But now it's clear that um, these two parties are in the decline because of the constitution. Mm. You've You've said repeatedly that you reject the military, mm -hmm. that you want the military's influence to be dissipated over mm -hmm. the years. Mm -hmm. How much influence can you have in Parliament, given that the 250 members of the Upper House of Parliament, the Senate, mm -hmm. will be appointed by the military? Since the election result is not clear at this point in time, it's very difficult to say who will be forming the government. But. Uh, I think the likelihood that the military junta will come back is high. It's high at this point in time. So we have to wait and see this afternoon what will be the final result of the election. Um, um, but um, we are we are very we are very comfortable being in the opposition if they could form a government. Um, we are not. We believe we are not um, the, um, be in a very good position if we are to ally with some other parties to be in the government given the the election result not very decisive uh, this election returns thailand to democracy but it does seem like the divisions within the country still mm. remain despite the election exactly exactly i totally agree with you you could see that you could see that the the even though the the democrats are in the decline Palang Basharat Party has been gaining a lot of votes and that represents a different point of view among the Thai people. Um, that, lead, that will lead to the, the instability of the next government. Does that mean we've not seen the end of the coup? No, no, no. Um, with the in, instabil, instability of the next government inside, um, there might be another election. The, um, there might be another military intervention, so everything is still on the table.